What's going on, X Factor Fitness team? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, do not miss the opportunity to join the team. All you have to do is hit that red subscribe button down below, like this video, and go ahead and share this video. I want you to share this video with anyone who you know could use a little help on how to build muscle at home with resistance bands. In order to build muscle, we must continuously fill the muscle up with a lot of blood. I'm talking hypertrophy. Right here, I have some resistance bands. These ones are the go-to. And the reason I say that is simply because they have a nice attachment where you can lock it into your door. Very important when you're using a lot of resistance. A lot of times we'll get smacked in the face while resistance bands and this attachment right here is gonna make sure we avoid that happening. So in today's video, I'm gonna run you through a nice effective workout that you can get in in the comfort of your own home. All you need is resistance bands, a door, and some water to make sure you stay hydrated throughout the entire workout. Lots of volume. We're going for 15 to 20 reps on every single exercise. I'm not gonna say this is for beginners or even for advanced lifters. This right here is for everyone. So if you're ready, let's get right to it. All right, team, let's get right into it. Let's talk about the resistance bands before we jump into the workout. These bands range from 10 pounds all the way to 50. What I love most about these bands is that they come with a door anchor. I'll go ahead and put the description down below on where I got them from. But Fit Beast is the brand. Like I said, the door anchor is everything. So here I am taking my door anchor and I'm securing it in the door. What you do is you simply just put the door anchor on the other side of the door and then you close it. So here's the warm up. This is what I like to do before every workout. I don't care if I'm using dumbbells, barbells, kettlebells, you name it. I'm doing these warm ups right here. This is the rotator cuff warm up for me. All right. Simply put, you're going to warm up those rotator cuffs, which you're going to use in the majority of your exercises today. So you never want to jump into any exercise cold, let alone jump into any workout cold. You want to warm up the muscles, prime them up, get them ready for the work because we're going to get it in. So I get about 15 to 20 reps on my left arm and then I also get 15 to 20 reps on the right. Now to switch it up and give it a different angle, you'll see I'm grabbing it as such. Again, this is still the rotator cuff warm up. It's mandatory for me. I hope it's mandatory for you. Get it in, warm it up. You don't want to jump into any workout cold. You can actually see all of my muscles in my back working, but this is mainly geared toward that rotator cuff. I'll go ahead and circle it on the screen. All right, first up we have shoulders. We're gonna work from the top of our body all the way to the bottom. Shoulders are first, the delts. This right here is for the front deltoid. Again, we're locking the anchor into the door and simply grabbing both resistance bands. We're gonna raise up in the front raise motion. Targeting nothing but the front delt. We're getting the work in. The door anchors are legit because no matter how much resistance I have on the band, they will not move. I won't get slapped on my back or if I'm doing face pulls or something like that, I won't get slapped in my face by the resistance bands. They're locked into the door. You must get you some resistance bands like these. So we're not just gonna target the front deltoid, we also have to hit the side. I love lateral raises, they're my go-to. I also do a nice slight lean. Some folks might call this the Egyptian lateral raise. This is targeting nothing but the medial head of the deltoid. This part of your shoulder is what you need. So when you have a shirt on, you have the most broadest shoulders ever. Fellas, I know you're looking for some broad, bolder shoulders. This is it. You wanna make those deltoids pop out and doing lateral raises is gonna do such. Now let's move on to the back. What I'm doing here is changing the resistance. I'm adding some resistance to my bands. And I'm also gonna move the anchor down just a little bit in the door. So when I sit down and do some resistance rolls, it'll be at an even nice level to where I'm targeting that mid back, a little bit of the traps and definitely the lower back. Notice that I'm pulling back with nothing but my elbows. You can't really see it, but my forearms are not tensed at all. I'm driving back with my elbows. When you train your back, you must focus on driving with your elbows. That is a must. You can see the back working guys. I'm not making this stuff up. It works. But what you want to focus on is squeezing at least for one to two seconds. Don't just pull and release. You want to pull, squeeze, 
think about it, mind muscle connection, and then release. All right, so moving the anchor down just a little bit, because now we're gonna do some bent over rolls, bent over resistance rolls. Slight bend over and we're pulling back, pulling back with the elbows. Again, every single back movement will be pulled with elbows. And that's just going to ensure that you're working nothing but the back muscles. We don't want our biceps to get too turned on. We don't want our forearms to be activated. We really just want to focus on the back and nothing more. All right, here goes the fun. Chest. Everyone loves chest. So what I'm doing now is moving my anchor up to the top of the door. And yes, you guessed it. I'm going to be pulling down. And in this motion, I'm going to do a fly. So this is similar to if you're at the gym and you have some cables. That's why I love resistance bands so much. They are just like cables to me. So here I'm doing a fly, getting the squeeze in the chest. Look at the squeeze that I'm getting at the bottom of the movement. Mandatory to get that squeeze. I added some resistance here, so it is pretty taxing. But what you wanna focus on is squeezing. Not pulling your arms back too far, not snapping anything. You don't wanna jack your joints up. But you really want to make sure you get that nice stretch and that nice contraction at the bottom. Now we're going to go ahead and move the anchor. We're going to move it to about shorter height. And now we're going to switch it up and do some press movements. So what I like to do is have the resistance bands underneath my armpits. This is how I feel I can get a nice stretch and a nice squeeze. I don't want the resistance bands over my shoulders, I want them under my armpits. I promise you, if you try this out, you will feel everything in your chest, nothing more. Again, focus on the squeeze. If you thought I was playing about the pump, these resistance bands will have you feeling super, super jacked. I encourage you guys to get you some resistance bands. Please take your fitness to the next level. You're at home, you're stuck, can't go to the gym. You have resistance bands. That's all you really need. Get you some resistance bands, maybe even some dumbbells. All right, so here we're going to have the attachment at the top of the door again. And I was simply sitting down and getting some bicep curls, squeezing with the contraction. These curls right here, you can see them as cable curls, like when you're standing in between both of the cable sets and you're do simply doing that bicep flex. Simply, that's similar to what I'm doing right here. Nothing but a cable curl here. So we got the resistance curls coming from the top pulley, filling everything in the bicep, getting a nice squeeze with the contraction. And immediately after we hit the biceps, we have to hit the triceps. So here, keeping the anchor at the top, we're doing some press downs, single arm press downs. What I love most about the gym was the rope pull downs for the tricep. I miss them so much. What I'm actually thinking about is getting one of those rope attachments, attaching it to my resistance bands and getting it in that way. But this is how I'm going to target the triceps, getting a nice contraction at the bottom, getting a nice stretch at the top and feeling everything in those triceps. Full body means full body. So leaving the attachment at the top of the door, we're gonna go ahead and do some resistance bands, crunches. Yes, crunches. Similar to your cable crunches when you're in the gym, this is the same concept in the same feel. You can load up the resistance bands with however much resistance you decide. But again, these are abs. You don't have to destroy your abs with so much resistance, so much tension. What you really wanna do is just make sure you're contracting the abs flexing, making sure you're forming that nice six pack. And I'm not gonna leave out the lower body. Simply moving the anchor down to the bottom of the door, we're gonna do some glute kickbacks, some resistance band kickbacks, some cable kickbacks, whatever you guys wanna call it. Fellas, it is okay to train your glutes. Glutes are one of the important things when we're training our lower body. You're gonna use them in squats, you're gonna use them in lunges, you're gonna use them when you're doing cardio, Glutes are important. Don't neglect doing glute work just because you think people might look at you funny or you don't want a big butt or something like that. Train your glutes, fellas. It is okay. No one's judging you. It's you versus you at all times. 
so that's all i have for this workout i hope you guys enjoyed it again the link is in the description below on where i got my resistance bands from i really encourage you all to grab you some resistance bands that have this anchor attachment you might even be able to find this door anchor attachment on amazon somewhere but i encourage you to get one it will save your day we got some muscle built we got a nice pump we got it in in this workout i encourage you all to try it out let me know how you liked it and i'm gonna catch you in the next one before you go i want to encourage you to do a few things download the free x factor fitness app where you will have access to tons of workouts exercises and more follow me on instagram where you have access to workouts and motivation daily also check out some of my old videos lots of playlists just for you and never forget subscribe for more